Hello, this is Holly. Right now what I'm making is a cream sauce and this is just a basic cream sauce that goes good with fish, chicken. You can add different things to it if you want. But this is just the basic sauce. I love this on salmon. This is really good on fish. Um, it can be good on all kinds of things. You can probably add cheese to it if you wanted later, if you wanted to put it over vegetables or it's really good on top of like brown rice, anything like that. So what I have in there are three cups of milk and I have 2% milk. You can use whole milk. You can use um, a little bit of heavy cream if you want in there, but I just have 2% milk in there. And then I have two chopped up shallots. And those are oniony, they're little, and if I don't have shallots, I will just chop like a quarter of an onion up. All you wanna do is barely simmer the milk with the shallots in there. You don't want it, you're gonna dump the shallots out. They're just for flavor. So what I'm gonna do, they've been in there for a little while and you can see um, it already came kind of to a boil. I have them on uh, medium heat. I can taste it. I have about a teaspoon of salt in there as well. And of course, salt to taste. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to strain off the shallots and I'm not going to put that back on the heat. Inside so of the shallots in the bowl, I don't want those. I'm a messy cook, I know. And then I'm going to take a couple tablespoons of butter. And you could even make this with skim milk. I've made it with skim milk, but you do... You cannot skip on the fat. You have to have some butter. So since I have um, three cups of milk, depends on how much butter you want. I'm just going to put a chunk of butter in there. And basically that's going to kind of cool down my mixture a little bit while I stir my butter around. Let my butter melt. I should have cut it up in pieces, really. And so we don't have the shallots anymore. I guess if you like the chunky, you can leave it in there, but it's just basically for flavor. So basically I've cooled it down with the butter in it. It's not really cool, cool, but it's cool enough when the butter melts. Let's melt the butter. That I can add, because I got three cups of milk, so a tablespoon of flour per cup of milk. Oops. Can add my flour. Whisk that back in with the butter, because that's why you need the butter, so that the flour will incorporate. Otherwise it won't. Whisk that back in. I'm going to put my pot back on the burner. I'm going to pour this back onto the heat. Turn my burner back on. Select. And I'm going to put it at 6. And I'm going to keep whisking this until it thickens. This is an induction stove, so it cook, it's pretty quick. It's like gas. Actually, it's faster than gas as far as speed goes. Um, so you got to be a little bit careful. You can keep on whisking, and because it's kind of like a pudding, what you're doing here. Then I have a little bit of paprika. I'm just going to add a couple splashes for that smoky flavor. And you could add as much of that as you want. And of course, you always got to check it at the end for salt. Make sure that you have enough salt in it. Then I've got cayenne pepper. And I need a dash cayenne pepper. I like mine a little bit spicier. So another little dash of cayenne pepper. 
going to whisk that in there. It's starting to thicken. And like I said, this is a very basic sauce. That goes great with fish, um, chicken dishes, vegetables. And I could see even like melting some cheese in here now. Um, taking a taste of that, I would say another dash of cayenne, maybe a little more. Probably about a quarter of a teaspoon. I'm sorry, an eighth of a teaspoon, not a quarter. It'll burn your lips off, unless you like it really spicy. And you can put more paprika if you like it a little smoke here. Sometimes I'll add regular pepper, but I don't really see the need because I have pepper on my fish and I have put some salt on my fish that's in the oven. Still stirring. Thickening. Let me kick it up a little bit so you don't have to wait forever for this to happen. But if you wanted to do four cups, be like four tablespoons of flour. I always heat mine over a little bit because I like my sauce a little thicker instead of runny. But if you like yours a little bit more runny, you could either thin it down with a little bit milk or add a little less flour. So if you're going to do six cups, if you have a bunch of people coming over, and these six tablespoons of flour, so pretty much it's one tablespoon per cup of liquid. And the shallots give it a great flavor. They have a mellow um, oniony flavor, but like I said, if you don't have a shallot, because they kind of are hard to find sometimes, they're not always in the store, I use a piece of whatever onion I have, just like a chunk of it, I throw it in there, just let it simmer in there until you can taste the, the onion flavor, and then you can discard the onion. Um, make sure you take it off the heat when you throw the chunk of butter in there because you do want it to come the temperature to come down a little. You can't throw the flour into the boiling pot, otherwise it will all clump up and coagulate and and you won't get a nice sauce out of it, a nice smooth sauce. You'll have lumpy lumpy lumps and then you'll be straining that again. So I'm gonna say that that has pretty much come to a boil. I'm going to turn it off and it will thicken as it cools up a little bit. And that is your nice sauce. And if this were not an induction stove I would take it right off the heat. Um, but because it's an induction Stove, I don't have to take it off the heat, it instantly stops cooking, it's just like gas. So if it were an electric stove, i will take it off and not worry about it. And then when I plate, I'm just going to take a little bit of my sauce, I'm going to put it down. And then I'm going to put my fish on top of that, and then I'll probably drizzle a little bit of more sauce over the top. My family won't eat salmon without this anymore. Um, and like I said, it's really good on brown rice as well, and on vegetables. And you can use skim milk. It's just the butter part that's going to be the fattening part. But you really don't need that much of it because um, you just really need it for the flour so that the flour will incorporate into the sauce. So you can probably make a little roux with a little bit of butter in a pan with the flour and add that to it if you wanted to use less butter. And that's my sauce!
thanks for watching, guys. Have a wonderful day. I hope you enjoy. And like I said, throw some cheddar cheese or something in there if you want. And put that on your vegetables. Um, fish doesn't go very well with cheese. But you can use it on lots of other things like potatoes or whatever. Alright, thank you. Bye.